My name is Piri Ackerman Barger and I'm a faculty member at the Betty Irene Moore School of Nursing. I am a registered nurse, I'm a nurse educator, and I'm a nurse scientist. Well, one of the things that's been really nice about the research that I'm doing right now in conjunction with um, Dr. Darren Lattimore and Dr. Uh, Delwyn Boatwright from Yale University is we've been asking students what they think needs to happen um, to create more inclusive learning environments. Um, and, you know, of course, the first thing they say is that we need a more diverse student and faculty um, body. Um, we also need safe spaces to have authentic conversations and we need to look at the curricula that a lot of times we're reinforcing stereotypes and incorrect information. Um, an example of incorrect information is this notion that people of color are genetically predisposed to diseases like heart disease and diabetes. And what we know is that there is, um, you know, maybe a 30% genetic component and a 70% social determinants of health component. But we tend to focus on that 30% rather than the 70%. And unfortunately, what people often take away from the curricula is that there's some biological inferiority of people of color, right? And so students have identified that they're hearing this over and over in their classrooms and that they as students of color know that that's not true, but they're looking around at their classmates saying, what are they taking away from this, right? So that's another thing that we can do. Honestly, as I've been doing this work for the last um, 10 or 15 years, the dialogue has begun to change, which is really a positive thing. Um, previously, I was trying to convince people um, that diversity was important and that there is a problem both in education and in healthcare. Um, it seems like because of the political climate um, and just sort of a, an, a, an evolution of thought that people are beginning to understand the value of diversity and are asking for, okay, now that I understand that we need it and why, what do I do, right? So this research is um, an attempt to help faculty and administrators understand here are some of the things that we can collectively do.